Okay, in this uh, next series of videos, we're going to be looking at this uh, three battery so called paradox setup uh, where we'll have two batteries in series, um, an inverter coming off the positive side of our series batteries, and then out of the inverter, we go to the positive side of our third battery, and then the negative side of our third battery is hooked to the negative side of our two series batteries. So the inverter will be running off the potential difference um, between 24 volts minus 12 volts, which will be 12 volts, thereabouts. Um, <clears throat> in this setup here at the moment, our uh, first little test is uh, we're going to get a ballpark figure of our um, inverter in both its efficiency and um, idle current. It's only a cheap little 500 watt inverter, it's upside down at the moment because of the way the plug is on our um, watt meter here. And our watt meter is measuring um, our load, which will be this little red globe here. So first we do the inverter test, um, and we can calculate our power in by way of current flow from our 24 volt um, battery bank through our inverter and into our 12 volt battery um, we'll be able to place our meter so as we can measure the current and um, both voltages across the 12 volt battery and across our inverter and I think we're going to find that it's going to be exactly equal to what's coming out of our 24 volt battery bank but apparently there's supposed to be something special going on with this so um, we've gone and spent the money three band, brand new batteries. At the moment I'm balance charging these two. How do we do that? Very simple, we simply hook the two batteries in parallel and hook up our battery charger to it. And that will ensure that they charge in a balanced state. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to uh, switch our inverter on. We have no load on it at the moment um, and this is quite a hungry little inverter I must say even on standby um, I'm bringing this battery down so as we can actually charge it without overcharging it once we set up our uh, three battery system as you can see 11.86 volts will come down more when we put a load on it now this thing's drawing 925 milliamps so nearly an amp just on idle um, and that is only a 500 watt inverter so it's only an El Cheapo one and we can see that by the result we have here so we can calculate um, what that inverter is consuming without a load just on idle um, 242 volts coming out of our inverter uh, we're going to switch over to watts which I think I've done Hard to read that little black crap in there. And we're simply going to plug in our light bulb here. Pretty little red party light. Okay, so we're not on watts, that is on amps. Here we go. It's a 25 watt bulb. It's fairly stable at 23 watts there. <coughs> it won't be consuming with full 25 watts because our battery is fairly low. Um, and now we have nearly 3 amps, so 3 amps at 11.6, uh, so we're using close to 30 plus watts to drive a 25 watt light bulb, so um, the efficiency is really not that great with that inverter. Um, our voltage at the moment is 235 volts. <clears throat> Our mains voltage here is between 220 and 240 volts so we're within the ballpark a bit low on the uh, 240 volts which is what this globe is rated at to give us our 25 watts which is why we only get 23.3 watts. So our watt meter is reading pretty accurate. Um, I am not sure what kind of a sine wave that is putting out 
it will be a modified sign, not a uh, pure sign. But nonetheless, um, our meter is pretty close to correct for the uh, voltage we are running our inverter on at the moment. <coughs> okay, so next we're going to um, hook up these two batteries in series, put our inverter in the middle, hook this third battery up that we'll be charging. Um, we can then go through and do our power calculations and uh, see what we get. That will be in the next video. We'll do this step by step, keep the video short, and uh, we can keep some sort of degree of accuracy throughout those videos in our power measurements. So, once again, 11.63 volts at 2.968 amps is our input to our inverter. Our output is 23.3 watts to our light bulb here. After we have done our inverter testing um, and got some uh, fairly accurate calculations of power in, power out, um, we are then going to switch to a motor generator setup, um, unmodified motor to start with, and we're going to make up a generator. It has to be fairly efficient. These um, smart drive motors make very efficient generators. Um, three phase or single phase depending how you uh, wire them up but um, nonetheless whichever way you do it they make a very efficient generator and a very efficient motor that will be our second testing phase our third one we're simply going to get a uh, junk vacuum cleaner motor or a universal motor as they call it. You can see I have the brushes hanging out of here at the moment because I'm going to relieve the spring tension on those brushes get this thing spinning as free as we can and then we're going to have a little play around with this and uh, see what we can do with this um, in this three battery situation that will be the uh, last part of the show um, I have a few of these and um, we're going to pick the best one which I believe is this one at the moment from what I've found in my junk pile um, other than the other one I've already modified and we're going to do a few mods here and there on this motor here as we go along this will also be driving a load um, we're going to hook the same generator up to this motor and um, we will be able to uh, keep our um, output energy um, within the bounds of the same measuring protocols as we did with our standard DC motor. <clears throat> so that's a 24 volt DC motor, runs quite fine on 12 volts of course, just a little underpowered. Uh, this one here started life as a 240 volt series wound motor. Um, which we'll be modifying to run on 24 volts not hard to do and then we'll be carrying our little mods here and there with our um, coils and our uh, stator core itself so um, that'll be at the end of this series of videos to come but first uh, yeah we're going to carry on and um, do our inverter test and I'm going to throw the scope across that inverter and have a look at the waveform as well but um, looks like it might be fairly clean because our um, rated output in watts is very equal to what that uh, globe should be um, at these voltages Alright, um, I'll get this video uploaded so as you know what we're going to be doing in the future and um, we'll carry on and see where we end up at the end of the day. Thanks for watching guys.